Hello everybody, welcome to my stream. Today we'll be flying from Skurdu in Pakistan to K2, which is the second highest mountain in the world. At 8,611 meters or 28,250 feet above sea level, K2 is the second highest mountain in the world after Everest. For comparison, Everest is 8,848 meters, which uh, puts it at 29,029 feet. So roughly um, a difference of 800 feet only. But the interesting thing about K2 is it is known as a killer mountain. It is not easy to climb K2. And a lot of uh, mountaineers have lost their life trying to get to the summit. It is difficult in summer and um, in winter it is almost impossible to climb. Just recently a team of 10 Nepali climbers set a new world record by becoming the first to reach the summit of K2 in winter. Um, but more recently we had a tragedy uh, just this winter with the Pakistani, Icelandic and Chilean climber who died trying to get to the summit. Alright, so we are in the cockpit now, all set and ready to go. The takeoff configuration is set. Once we take off, uh, we'll turn left and uh, follow the valley till we reach an altitude where we are able to clear the mountain tops and um, also have decent airspeed. Alright, so let's set our toga power and um, get ready to take off. Airspeed active. V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Setting power to climb. And uh, we now start our left turn towards the valley. Flaps up.
So you can see we're climbing at 2,700 feet per minute. And uh, we'll make a right turn to keep following the valley. You can see on the terrain radar here that black space is where we need to be. Just behind us you can see the Shiga River and uh, very nicely done and frozen with real world weather settings. Just beautiful. Just look at these views, look at the mountains, the Karakoram ranges. And I must say Microsoft Flight Simulator has done a great job when it comes to terrain especially. Alright, so we're almost at 20,000 feet. That should uh, get us clear of all those mountains. And uh, we'll not now start our left turn and um, fly back towards K2. So that pin just, that I just marked is the location of K2 and uh, we're using a VFR map to keep us in the right direction. So I think you should be able to guess already which uh, peak that you see in front of us could be K2. On the VFR map you can tell we are now flying straight towards K2. And as you might have guessed this is the K2 peak. And um, even on the terrain map you can see that red dot over there. Um, currently we are at 26,000 feet and as I said K2 is around 28,200 feet which um, is still higher than our current altitude. Right, so we are at 29,000 feet. I've engaged um, autopilot. And as we get close to the mountain, I'm going to slow our speed down to 250 knots. I just want us to get a nice view of the mountain. Actually, let's go down to 240 knots.
and as you can see on uh, the map on the left we are actually now entering um, all the glaciers that are on the way to K2 So as you can see on the map here, um, we are right now flying almost uh, over the Concord Glacier. And I believe when you are climbing K2, you actually have to cross this glacier um, by foot, if I'm not wrong. But um, looking at this, I believe this is the path that um, people would have to take to get to K2. So let's slow down to 220 knots. And as we get close to the mountain, I will um, go into drone mode just to give you a few better and nicer shots. Right, so we're practically sitting at the summit and I'll give you a 360 view of what it looks like from on top.
All right, so let's head back to our airplane. We will fly by the mountain and um, then head back to Skurdu International Airport. As you can see on the map, we are circling, circling the K2 mountain. And right there in front of us right now is uh, Nanga Parbat. Alright, so we'll now start making our way back to the Skurdu airport. Um, finding our way back and uh, also landing in the first attempt is not easy. Especially coming in from K2, you have to uh, wait till you're in an area where you can actually start making a descent. And then to be able to get back to a safe landing altitude where you can start making your approach. Um, not easy at all. If you've seen one of my other videos, um, I have attempted the landing at Skurdu from both end of, from both ends of the runway. But today let's try it again and see if I can do it. So first of all we need to slow down and um, set altitude to 9000 feet setting vertical speed to 2500 uh, let's do 3,000 feet per minute. I'll give us some air brakes. You 
we are headed in the right direction so you can see that's the valley and um, it opens up into um, the skirt of the valley let me just um, put the map back on so you just need to head straight by the time we hit um, that lake over there you can then turn right, follow the valley, and uh, be back in Skurdu. So over the next 8 minutes I will um, put this video on three times the speed and um, you can follow the journey through the valley as we enter Skurdu and uh, once we reach the uh, once we are parallel to the runway I'll once again slow the video down and you can then follow the exciting approach into Skurdu so stay with me and uh, enjoy the music and um, follow the descent down to Skardu.
right so we have flaps full already slowing down to 140 knots and as you can see that's the runway um, so we'll fly parallel to the runway go straight take a very sharp u-turn and come back to land onto runway 14 Okay, so we are starting our maximum bank angle left turn. Flaps full, landing gear down. And uh, we have to be around 1000 feet by the time we get out of this turn. And uh, there are really no nav aids um, at this airport, so we have to completely fly visual. So there are no wasi lights, no poppy lights, no ILS, no nothing. Okay, so we are at uh, around 700 feet, a uh, bit misaligned still, so trying to get back into alignment. Complete visual approach. Still trying to line up, there's a bit of headwind, but um, otherwise not a lot of wind. Difficult to determine um, the runway center line given it's almost white all over and uh, there are no uh, WASI lights. But we're almost there, almost perfect. And touchdown. All right, so we have now landed at Skurdu International. As you can see, it was a very exciting approach. Almost slipped off the runway, but um, just in my defense, um, the runway that they have in Flight Simulator is quite narrow. 
and uh, secondly somehow I've noticed like every time you try to land on this runway the airplane just pulls to the left so I'm guessing there must be something wrong with um, the way the runway has um, been rendered in flight simulator so anyway we are down safe and um, I hope you enjoyed the trip to K2 the second highest mountain in the world and um, yeah do like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll join you in other exciting flights around the world thank you and goodbye